Hey everyone, this is Mercy from Dragonfly Avenue. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to sell digital goods on Squarespace. Now the main reason uh, you would want to do this, I mean so digital goods could be anything from printables, from templates, from artwork, to mock-ups, to photos, to website templates. Honestly, there's a ton of options that you have. <laughs> And the great reason, like the main reason to do it is to create some passive income. <laughs> and there are other sources like Etsy, Creative Market, um, a bunch of other platforms where you can sell. Um, but I always think it's best to have your own shop as well on a site that you own because at the end of the day, you never know if, like, I mean, Etsy can kick you out, their policies can change, uh, Creative Markets policy can change, any other platform that you don't own, they can change. Um, and you just want to make sure that if you are building something, you know, you have something that is yours. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this, and it's actually really not that difficult. Uh, Squarespace has made it super easy to do. So let me walk you through how to do it. So if we are starting on the homepage, we're going to go to pages. And you're going to want to add a store. So sell certain products and services online. Now I already have one set up here. And it's pretty much going to like give you some options. Um, now you will have to be on the, I think, business or e-commerce plan of Squarespace, but definitely worth it. So this is just a really simple uh, storefront. So instead of touching any of these, we're gonna go to this plus sign and click plus. So now it's asking you, what do you wanna sell? So you have a couple options. You have physical, tangible products, services, gift cards, membership, scheduling, etc. The main one we're looking for is digital download. So that is right here. And you can sell an audio file. How great. So this is all your product information. So let's say uh, template number one. This is the description. So template can be, you know, you add your title, your product name, you add your description, you add an image. And right here is where you will add the file. So I'm going to just add like this image file. This isn't like a real product. It's just for a tutorial. So now it's added. And what you can do if just on like a back end tip side is if you have multiple files, just compress it by zipping the file and then uploading it. Now you can set your price. Let's say it's $50. You can set up categories, let's say templates. And these would be like shop categories. Again, tags, let's say template, say moody, moody vibe, call it a day. And now you have a couple like extra features. You can make it a featured product. So these will be displayed in your summary block. You can uh, show uh, products on like product pages, like related pro products if you have more than one. Uh, you can show customer reviews. <laughs> and we're going to leave those for now. If you want to update any of the SEO uh, information, you can add that here and edit that. Now, let's say you, well, usually I guess, well, I guess if you're doing like printables or something else, you can collect additional information. So you can make it like if you need to grab their name for like if you're making wedding invitations and you need to collect that information, you can do that. <laughs> or if you want to customize the add to cart button, let's say um, instead of add to cart, you want to say buy now. You Like those are the things you can do right in, in those areas. And I'm going to just grab this image again. Let's do an image so there's something there 
and then all we're going to do is save well and so those are the options you can save publish to make it live or you can schedule it so let's say you are wanting to put out a new product once a month and you're already you can schedule it out so i'm going to publish it now another nice thing you don't need to give feedback right now <laughs> So now you can see the template is here. Woohoo. And if you want to edit it again, you can click the buttons and do edit. And I was gonna say, if you want to duplicate your product over and over, you can do that too. So let me just save that. And now you have your digital product. Okay. Oh, and so we can set up the design, the detail page. I'm going to keep it simple for now, but depending on, you know, whatever layout style you like. So there we are, and then you can add to cart. This is not going to work for me right now because it's not fully set up, but what you can expect to happen is someone will buy, and then they will receive an email with the file, and then they can download the file directly. Now I believe, I, unless it's changed, which at this point, who the fuck knows because Squarespace like does change every now and then. Um, I believe they have access to that download for 24 hours. And so if you're you know, writing a thank you email for buying something, you can just add that information. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is how you can sell your own templates. So if you do have an Etsy store and you're like, okay, I want to sell on my own storefront as well, you can do that and, you know, check out and then they would get the email. Um, and yeah, so this is how you set up digital products within Squarespace and how you can sell digital products on Squarespace. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for more tutorials. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow and come back for more. Thanks so much.